Halo, para penjelajah sejarah dan pecinta budaya. Selamat datang di channel Riko Star, tempat kita akan bersama-sama menyelami kisah-kisah menakjubkan dari masa lalu. Bersiaplah untuk dibawa dalam perjalanan yang penuh pengetahuan dan keajaiban, karena setiap episode kita akan mengungkap lembaran-lembaran sejarah yang belum terungkap. Jadi, Mari bergabung dalam petualangan ini dan jangan lupa untuk like, share, dan subscribe untuk tidak ketinggalan cerita-cerita seru selanjutnya. Have you ever wondered how France, a country of such cultural richness and historical significance, came into being? The story begins over 2,000 years ago, with the Celtic tribes of Gaul. These early inhabitants were skilled artisans and fierce warriors, laying the foundation for the French identity. Then came the Romans, under the leadership of Julius Caesar. The conquest of Gaul in the first century BC brought a wave of Roman influence, forever shaping the language, law, and culture of the region. The Gallo-Roman era, as it's known, saw the rise of cities like Paris and Lyon, still vibrant cultural hubs today. But as the Roman Empire waned, a new force emerged, the Franks. Led by their king, Clovis, the Frankish kingdom gradually absorbed the remnants of Roman Gaul. This fusion of Roman, Frankish, and Gallic elements formed the bedrock of the French nation. As the Roman Empire fell, a new power rose from its ashes, the Frankish kingdom, setting the stage for the Middle Ages. In the wake of the Frankish kingdom, The Middle Ages heralded a time of great change and development for France. Feudalism took root as the dominant social system, with the lands divided among noble lords and their loyal vassals. However, the real power lay with the Catholic Church, its influence reaching far and wide, permeating every aspect of life. The Middle Ages also bore witness to the Crusades, stirring adventures that were as much about power and territory as they were about faith. Knights set off to far-flung lands, their exploits shaping the course of history. As the Middle Ages gave way to the Renaissance, France underwent a profound transformation. A cultural and intellectual revolution unfolded, sparking an insatiable thirst for knowledge and beauty. The arts and sciences flourished, with luminaries such as Leonardo da Vinci finding patronage in the French court. The Renaissance, a beacon of enlightenment, illuminated the path towards the modern era. But what happens when the people yearn for change and the winds of revolution start to blow? This was the question that echoed throughout the late 18th century France. The French Revolution, sparked by a potent mix of social inequality, economic hardship, and political corruption, was a time of profound change. The guillotine became a symbol of the people's wrath as they toppled the monarchy and declared France a republic. But the revolution was far from a smooth transition to democracy. The reign of terror followed, as the revolutionaries themselves became victims of their own brutal justice. Out of this chaos, a figure emerged, Napoleon Bonaparte. This ambitious general seized power, declaring himself emperor. His reign brought stability, law reform and territorial expansion, but also warfare across Europe. Napoleon's fall at Waterloo in 1815 marked the end of his empire, but his influence endured. His Napoleonic code still forms the basis of many legal systems today. The revolution and the subsequent rise of Napoleon Bonaparte forever altered the course of French history. From the ashes of the Napoleonic Empire, a new France was born, one that would face the trials of the 20th century head-on. The landscape of the country, both physical and cultural, was dramatically reshaped by the two world wars. The scars of these global conflicts are still visible, yet the French spirit remained unbroken. Between these wars, the Jazz Age brought a burst of creativity and optimism, despite the looming economic depression. And following the Second World War, France rose from the ruins, rebuilding and reinventing itself once more. The post-war era saw a surge in French influence, from high fashion to high cuisine, and from the fields of philosophy to the corridors of international diplomacy. Today, France stands as a testament to the resilience of its people. Its rich history and enduring cultural influence continue to shape the world. Despite the trials and tribulations of the 20th century, France emerged as a beacon of culture, democracy, and resilience. From its humble beginnings as a collection of Celtic tribes to its current status as a global superpower, 
France's history is a testament to the spirit of its people. Born from a tapestry of tribes, France transformed through the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, where it flourished in art, literature, and philosophy. This era set the stage for the tumultuous revolution, leading to the rise and fall of an empire, a time that forever altered the course of the nation. In the wake of such upheaval, modern France emerged, a beacon of culture, innovation, and political power. Each of these periods, with their triumphs and trials, has contributed to the fabric of contemporary France, shaping its identity and influencing its role on the global stage. They serve as a reminder of the resilience, creativity, and indomitable spirit of the French people. And so, as we glimpse into the past, we gain a deeper understanding of the enduring allure of France, a country shaped by its rich and tumultuous history.